Hi, my name is Darren Mostyn, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at a feature in the Fairlight page. This is a free sound library that's available with DaVinci Resolve. So what you need to do is download it first. You have to put in your details here. And download the library. Then once that's downloaded, we just double click this. Install the Fairlight sound library. Agree to the terms and conditions, obviously. So now we need to restart Resolve. So now we have the sound library installed, we can start playing around with some sound effects and sound design on this program. So let's just have a look at what we might need. So if, yeah, if we go back here, there's a car door opening here. So if I just type in the search library car door, and here's our options. So we've got five or six options down here. Let's have a listen to the first one. Okay, I want something a bit heavier than that. Yeah, so that, this one will work fine. So let's just go back here. I'm going to mark an in and an out point, And I simply drag and drop this onto my timeline at the right point. And that's done. So it's really simple. You can also do this in the edit page as well. So if you're not comfortable working in Fairlight, just flick over to the edit page, press sound library up here, and you've got exactly the same library available. And you can just drag and drop into your edit timeline. Now, one thing I found with the sound library is if I want to just browse in general at what's available to me, it's not that obvious how to do that. But I found a way, if you click in the search engine, and just type in star star star. That then reveals the entire contents of the sound library. So you can have a really good browse through and see what's available. Because sometimes if I type in car engine, for example, it doesn't actually come up with anything, but there may well be something that's suitable, but I just don't know what it is. So just typing in star 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 gives you access to the entire library. So I hope you found that useful. It's a really good tip for browsing that extensive Fairlight sound library. Let me know in the comments if you want to see something more in Fairlight or if you want to see anything else in future episodes. I've got some really exciting episodes that I've got planned coming up, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification so you know when they're coming out. Have a look at my Facebook page, which is Killer Tips DaVinci Resolve, full of useful little tips and tricks. And look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next episode.